Hey guys, uh, welcome to College United Engineering with Bangar Gumera. So today we'll be doing single phase uh, forward reverse. Okay. So for your single phase, you've got your life here. Yeah? Then and for your remember single phase is 220. And you've got your neutral bar. Neutral bar. Do it like this. Da, 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 da. Okay. So we're going to have two contactors because of his forward reverse so the first contactor is this side and then the second contactor is this side so and then do it like this and okay oh, sorry Uh, come on. So now your left hand side will be K1 and then your right hand side will be K2. And then your power comes, your life comes here and then also here. Then it goes there and also there. But now this is your L1, your L2 and this is your L3. L1, L2, L3 of your contactor so you've got your neutral the neutral goes straight to l3 and we also have a neutral coming here to l3 okay and then we okay we're going to have a t1 now t1 t2 t3 T1, T2, T3. So, this is now the output of your contactors. But now, put the overload. Play it safe. Yeah, this is your overload. Okay. And then now here comes the tricky part. Your T1 will come exactly straight to T1. But now you have to interchange T2 and T3. T2 will come to T3 now. And then T3 will come to T2. And then for this one, I'll have to refer here on my book. This is will be your running winding, and then your start winding, and then this is your capacitor, and then this is your centrifugal switch. Now this one comes here actually. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let me try to, to refer to the book. So R1, R2, and then you've got S1, S2, I'm just referring to the book. Then you've got your C1, C2. And then CS. So this is your centrifugal switch. And then this is your capacitor. And then this is your S1, S2. And then this is your running winding. But then your running winding, you take it straight to your neutral. So yeah, this is how you draw your uh, single face, um, what you call a uh, single face forward reverse. But now, um, this one, you have to make sure that is connected. Your S2 and your C2 must make sure that you connect it yourself. Most of the time on the motors, your running winding, they will be connected internal. 
even S1 and S2 internal, C1 and C2 internal, and your centrifugal switch will be connected. But now, this part, you have to be careful. You have to connect it yourself, this part. Yeah, so you make sure that connection is done. So that's the, this is the main circuit. This is how you draw the main circuit. You've got K1, K2, and then you've got your overload, your overload. You've got your motor, and that's your single phase motor. You've got your breaker, you've got your life, you've got a neutral bar, and this is all on 230 volts. It's not um, what you call a, a 400 volts. So yes, this is how you draw a single phase forward reverse. And this contactor one will actually, we can just say forward, and here we can just say reverse, yeah. Because of, since it's forward reverse, yeah. So this is your forward contactor and this is your reverse contactor. L1, T1, uh, this is a contactor overload motor. So yeah, make sure that your, you always have your overload for the protection of your motor. I know most of the times people when they uh, do forward reverse single phase, they don't put overload, but your overload is very important. Yeah. So you can also put here L1, L2, L3, this is your T1, T2, T3. Yeah. So thank you. Let's meet on the next video, which will be the control circuit. But the control circuit, the circuit in fact, is the same as the uh, the drill phase forward reverse. So there's no need for me to do that one for you. Just go and watch the video of uh, control circuit drill phase, the same. So let's meet on the next video. Chop, chop.